Welcome everyone. This is the City of Chelsea's 2020 Veterans Day Ceremony in recognition of the service and sacrifice for all of our service men and women. Of course this year and things that have changed we will not be doing uh, an outside event or an event here at the City Hall Chambers. Instead uh, for this year we will be doing a virtual event and we hope to have a great presentation. It's our first time Please uh, stick with us, and uh, now I'd like to thank uh, the school department as they present, uh, provide a student to present the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank uh, the school department for the presentation of the Pledge of Allegiance. And now uh, they will have a student present the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land And thank you for that wonderful rendition of the National Anthem. And now we will have the presentation by a Chelsea School student of the Governor's Proclamation. Proclamation, whereas since the Commonwealth colonial days, thousands of men and women have served their country in defense of freedom and liberty. And whereas on November 11th, 1918, the armistice was signed in the force of campaign by the Allied Nations and Germany, and in World War I, the war to end all wars after four years of conflict. And whereas since that day, every November, people from around the nation have gathered to honor our veterans. And whereas there are approximately 388,000 veterans living in Massachusetts. And whereas today, we are reminded of the sacrifices and contributions our veterans have made to our country. And whereas we honor and salute those who served our country throughout the generations with honor, patriotism, and courage. And whereas it is appropriate that all Massachusetts citizens remember the bravery of those who served their country so that their dedication and sacrifices serve as a reminder of the cost of our freedom. And whereas in November 2020, the world will commemorate the 102nd anniversary of the armistice that ended the fighting in World War One at 11 a.m. November 11, 1918 the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Now, therefore, I, Charles D. Baker, Governor of Commonwealth, Massachusetts, do hereby proclaim November 11th, 2020, to be Veterans Day. Thank you. Welcome back, and once again, thank you to the school department for the student who presented the government, governor's proclamation uh, in these new times, uh, fortunately this year we missed uh, recognizing Memorial Day uh, because of all, all the occurrences that are going on at the moment. Uh, so I'd like to take this moment uh, in recognition of, of all the veterans uh, who had made the ultimate sacrifice and who've passed away over the previous year. 
I would like to recognize them by doing a, a brief moment of silence. So if you join me with me uh, to recognize them, uh, thank you. And now we will have uh, our greetings presented by our own city manager, Tom Ambrosino. On behalf of the entire city of Chelsea, I want to welcome everyone to this virtual celebration of Veterans Day 2020. I know it isn't the way we'd hope to be honoring this important day, but it is essential in this COVID era. First and foremost, let me just publicly express the city's thanks to all of our veterans. I've said it before, it's really impossible to overstate the gratitude that we have and the appreciation we owe as a city and as a nation to our veterans. The freedoms we have today are a direct result of your sacrifices. What's most interesting to me today is that we know as a nation, we can learn so much about serving and thriving in this COVID era by looking at the conduct and the sacrifice of our veterans. The trajectory of a veteran service to country always starts with training. And one of the key elements of that training is learning to work as a team and putting individual ego aside for the greater good of the military unit working and sacrificing for the common good. How imperative that simple theme is now in our country as we battle this invisible enemy. Sacrificing for the common good seems to be the best way we can deal with this virus. Foregoing, for example, large Thanksgiving gatherings with family, even when there's nothing more we want to do than to be with loved ones we haven't seen in a while, or accepting inconvenient regulations like mask wearing, even though it temporarily impedes upon our individual freedom. If we can draw just one lesson from our veterans on this holiday, it is that sacrifice for the greater good. That may be the ultimate expression of patriotism for our country and it may be the way we ultimately defeat this pandemic enemy. So on this Veterans Day of 2020, I applaud and thank all of you who serve this great nation so nobly, and I hope that your lesson of civic duty and sacrifice can resonate across the entire nation. God bless you. And thank you, Tom, again, uh, for that wonderful uh, presentation in recognition of our veterans. And now I'd like to share with, with you uh, some messages from our uh, public officials who'd also like to share a message in recognition of our veterans. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Lynn Hamilton. I'm the Director of Public Affairs for the City of Chelsea. Hello everyone, my name is Maynda Vega Maldonado. I'm your District 2 City Councilor. And on behalf of the two beautiful boys and myself, I we just want to wish you a happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. Hi, this is Superintendent Abeta, and I just wanted to say thank you to our veterans. I want to say thank you for your service and your sacrifice for this nation. I hope you have a wonderful Veterans Day, and I wish you all the best. God bless you. Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Garcia and I am the chairwoman of the Chelsea School Committee. I wanted to wish all the veterans happy in the city of Chelsea a happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day! <laughs> happy and in closing, uh, as we were recognizing uh, our veterans today, uh, I'd like to share with each and every one of you uh, my gratitude on behalf of each and every veteran in our community uh, who's home uh, and, and watching this program uh, and how grateful each and every one of them e each year uh, expresses how, how it impacts them to see people out there recognizing obviously this year 
that can't be done. So um, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for that. Uh, there's going to be some changes uh, during the holidays. Uh, we're going to also be having a, a virtual coffee hours. And um, don't forget that each month we also do our food events. So please stay in contact. Uh, you can reach me at 617-466-4250, which is the Department of Veterans Services. And I can also be emailed at ftoro at chelseama.gov. Thank you.